Welcome, and thank you for selecting the WhisperFlow XFBS or MaxiPro XFBS commercial variable speed pump. In this video, we will demonstrate basic settings such as clock adjustment, programming, and priming adjustment. To set the clock, hold the display button for three seconds. Use the plus and minus arrows to choose between a 12 or 24 hour time format. Press display to advance into the clock setup menu. Use the plus and minus arrows to change the time to the correct time of day. Press display to advance. Use the plus and minus arrows to adjust the screen backlight to the desired brightness. Press display to exit the clock setup menu and the clock and background brightness are now set. During a power outage, the drive will retain the clock setting in memory for as long as 24 hours. If the power is out longer than 24 hours, the clock will have to be set again. If the drive has lost the user set time, the clock will continuously blink until the time is reset. Once the time is reset, the clock will stop blinking. To customize the run schedule for your WhisperFlow XFVS or MaxiPro XFVS commercial variable speed pump, the pump must be stopped. Be sure that the start stop button LED is not illuminated. Stop the pump if it is running by pressing the start stop button. Press the one button. The LED above the selected program will begin to blink and the speed percentage of flow parameter LED will blink while editing. Use the plus and minus arrows to adjust the speed and RPM or percentage of flow if operating in flow mode. Note, the speed is adjusted up or down in increments of 10. Flow is adjusted in 5% increments. Press the one button again and the display will change to program one start time. The time parameter LED will begin to blink. Use the plus and minus arrows to adjust the daily start time for program one. Press the one button again and the display will change the program duration. Use the plus and minus arrows to adjust the duration for program one in hours and minutes. Pressing the one button will continue to cycle through these parameters, but the changes are immediately saved as they are adjusted. Adjusting priming speed. Priming will automatically run when the WhisperFlow XFVS or MaxiPro XFVS commercial variable speed pump is started from a stop state, except when running a quick clean cycle. Priming will run at 3450 RPMs by default and will last for 5 minutes. The drive screen will display and cycle through the following things. PR1 priming speed, PR1 remaining time. Once priming has begun, the speed can be adjusted between 3450 and 1700 RPM using the plus and minus arrows. If it is adjusted below 1700 RPM, priming mode will be disabled and the pump will immediately begin to run the scheduled speed. When priming is disabled and the pump is started from a stop state, the screen will display PR1 off for 10 seconds while running the scheduled speed. This allows the user time to enable priming mode by pressing the plus arrow to adjust the desired priming speed. Nope. Viewing current parameters. Pressing the display button will cycle through the current parameters. This will allow the user to see on the display the four main parameters. Current run speed or percent of flow. Current time of day amount of time remaining at the current program, the amount of watts currently being consumed. Pressing any of the program buttons, one, two, three, or quick clean, while the pump is running will act as a temporary override. It will run the speed and duration that is programmed for that button. Once completed, it will default back to the appropriate point in the program schedule.